Well, good morning and thank you for joining us. We are live just outside the small town of Carnarvon in the Northern Cape, and that's where the SKA Meerkat, uh, Meerkat uh, core site is. That's where we are right now. That big radio telescope you're seeing, there are 64 of them, 10 years in the making, and they're finally getting us a unique view of the universe, and we're getting it right here in South Africa. It's a huge step for technology in our country, and the Department of Science and Technology, of course, is spearheading this project with several other countries uh, all coming together to make sure that we kind of learn more about what's happening outside of Earth. And to tell us more about the role of the Department of Science and Technology is the uh, Director General, uh, Phil Mdwara. Thanks so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. It's freezing cold here, but we're here to tell a good story, and that is South Africa's role in the Meerkat being launched today. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning and thanks very much to the viewers and thanks to ENCA for giving us an opportunity to tell this uh, good story here in Carnarvon. As you know, this is a long journey, started in fact even before I joined the department in 2006. But we were very, very delighted uh, as the department uh, to get cabinet to approve this project of uh, 64 dishes that have been built here as a precursor, of course, to the SKA. As you know, we won the bid uh, together with Australia. So this is an excellent day where we will be unveiling the 64 dishes. But it's not just the dishes, uh, by the way. Uh, it's uh, what has happened around the construction of this 64 uh, dish array. And, and that's the important part, the, the implications that this project has had on the local community, on the province itself. Tell us more about that. Well, first of all, uh, we started by w making sure we work uh, with the community. In Carnarvon, for instance, we started to get teachers to be trained in maths and science. And we are so excited because uh, last year or year before, one of the young students uh, from Carnarvon uh, registered at the University of the Free State to do data science. And something that would no never have happened if it wasn't for this project. So that's the one. Uh, to date, we've spent approximately 100 million on small and medium enterprises around the area that have benefited from the project in one way or the other. We've created almost 2,000 or more uh, jobs uh, in the last 10 years in the construction of the SKA, in the construction of the road that you use this morning uh, from Carnarvon to Kamiya because it used to be a gravel road. So there have been a number of benefits that have accrued to the community around this area and we are extremely delighted about uh, the contribution that we've had to make as a result of the project being rolled out. Now this obviously has a major impact on how the world looks at South Africa when it comes to science and technology and it's a very important step to show the world World, and now the universe actually mm -hmm. that we do play an important role in this and we have the capability and skills to do this yeah well first of all I mean one of the exciting things is that this project was done on time on budget That's second thing is that 70% uh, of the content in the construction of not only just the dishes but also the processing facility which is in Karoo uh, just close to, to, to the site uh, it's also mainly constructed by South African young engineers you know that that uh, the bulk of uh, the data that is collected by these dishes have got to go to a computer which is not far from here. We have an opportunity uh, to see it and unveil it later when the deputy president comes. All of this has been locally um, developed. And then of course we have a large uh, contingent of uh, scientists that we have developed as part of this project. And they've already started to demonstrate that uh, with more dishes that you connect, uh, you are able to get better images. We can't unveil everything, but later today, you'll get a sense of the sensitivity that instrument has and how it's been able to give us information even before we, we, we commission it fully on what's happening in the universe that's not been seen by any uh, instrument of this nature. So we're extremely, extremely delighted and proud as, as South Africa. And as positive as this is, you will get people still saying that the money could have been better used to uplift communities, provide better skills for uh, education perhaps in a primary and tertiary level as well. What do you say to that? Well, I have two answers. Uh, the first one, as I said, uh, we've already indicated the amount of money that in, has been spent on small, medium enterprises. Uh, later, um, in the exhibition, you will see a small company called EMS, 
EMSS, which is a company in Stellenbosch that has been doing work in radar and, and signal processing. It started with about four people, and that company today has got uh, 30 people and is beginning to export uh, products uh, to the rest of the world. And it is likely to be one of the companies that will participate in the construction of the 133 dishes that will be here as part of phase one of the SKA. So that's one concrete example. The second one is that we have trained approximately 900 students, masters and PhD students and undergraduate students, and a third of those students are coming from the rest of the continent. Uh, and they've gone back to set up astronomy uh, activities and facilities in their own uh, countries in the rest of the continent. And we've started to roll out high performance computing infrastructure uh, in the rest of the continent. So that's just demonstrate the kind of benefit that uh, I think uh, we have had to give to the community and different stakeholders. But the second part of my question is that remember that government is divided into different parts. Uh, not all of us have to worry about uh, the problems of today. We also have to think about the, the things of the future and we have to invest in the future. And this project has got all those aspects, as I've indicated, indicated in terms of the people that have benefited, the technology development uh, that, that has come out of this, the training of uh, people in the rest of the continent. But we also have to remember that the future uh, will not be the same as today. And uh, we as a Department of Science and Technology are also given the money to do those things that in the future will make the world to be different. And mm -hmm. we think uh, on this project it has the element of delivering on that as well. All right, thank you so much, DJ. Appreciate it. That was uh, DG Phil Mjuara, of course, giving us insight as to why the Department of Science and Technology is involved in this project. Now, the one of the most clear, clear images coming out of this uh, radio telescope is that of the Milky Way and the black hole. That will be revealed a bit later on today when the Deputy President arrives, just after 9 o'clock or so. And we will, of course, have those images live on ENCA as well a little later on during the day. It's something that you've never seen before. It's something we should be excited about because we all want to know whether there is something, other lives, uh, lives uh, perhaps, outside of Earth and in the universe. So it'll give us a view and uh, th something that we haven't seen in, well, forever in this instance because it's so new and it's so clear.